Hello and welcome to Chemistry Nuggets, where you can polish your knowledge and clear your doubts. Today's video is about oxidation number of chromium in CrO5. So let's find out. If we have CrO5, we need to draw the structure because without the structure, if we calculate it with the formula, we will get the correct answer. Let's have a look how. If we assume chromium X and then oxygen as normally having minus 2 charge. So, 5 into minus 2 is equal to 0. X plus, sorry, it will become 10 and it will be minus 10 is equal to 0 and now x value will be 10 which is totally wrong because 10 never will be the oxidation, oxid, oxidation state because 10 never will be the oxidation state of any element so this is purely wrong calculation now what, what we will do we will now draw a structure that will give a correct site of the oxidation number. So, let's have a look on the structure. In the center, we have chromium, then one oxygen here, one here, one oxygen here, one here, and there is a double bond again. This is oxygen. So, this is. CrO5 and this structure is called butterfly structure. It's very easy to remember because the shape is like a butterfly. So it is called a butterfly structure. Now we are going to calculate the oxidation number of chromium. The concept behind is if there is a bond between any two elements, the element which is more electronegative that will take the electrons towards itself and if because of or we can say due to electron shifting that electronegative atom will acquire a negative charge. So, if we have A bonded with B and B is more electronegative then what will happen? The bonded electron moves towards B and B will acquire minus charge. In return, A will acquire the plus charge. This only will happen and we will count according to the number of bonds. So, let's have a look. Here, one oxygen is attached with a double bond. So, here we can say one time minus one because oxygen is more electronegative than chromium. So, two times it is pulling it means minus two on oxygen in return plus two on chromium. Here one time one oxygen, one time bond with chromium, it is having minus one and chromium from this side plus one. Again from this chromium will having plus one and oxygen will having minus one. From this oxygen will have minus 1 and chromium plus 1. From this oxygen minus 1 and chromium plus 1. So now we can calculate total number of oxid oxidation the state of chromium is plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. I think 1 4 times plus 1 and 1 time plus 2. So total it will be plus 6. This is the oxidation state of chromium and which is also a maximum oxidation state shown by chromium. Chromium is showing variable oxidation states. In this, this is the maximum and beyond plus 6, chromium will not show any oxidation state. So, this is the correct answer for oxidation state of chromium. Definitely, you need to remember the diagram and 
work accordingly till then keep learning thank you